In the following lessons, we'll learn how to make engineering drawings of parts and assemblies using SOLIDWORKS. We will use the shaft bracket and the kicker assembly as examples. Select New, Drawing. You'll be prompted to choose the sheet format size, so disable only show standard formats and select A ANC landscape, then click OK. You can see that model view from the view layout tab is already activated. This option is used to insert new views into your drawing. Click Browse and choose the shaft bracket. Enable Create Multiple Views and select Front, Top, Right and Isometric. Then click OK to insert these views. You can click on each individual view to change its scale or its properties. Click on the Front view and under Scale select Use Custom Scale. Click on User Defined and type 3 colon 4. Since the isometric view is only meant to give a perspective view, make it shaded with edges. To add dimensions to the drawing, click on the Annotation tab and use Model Items. Under Source, select Entire Model and make sure the Import Items into All Views box is selected, then click OK. We will work with the ANSI standard, so go to Options to make sure it is selected. The ANSI standard lists top left as preferred for the dimensions and states that the front view should be the most descriptive view. Notice that as you move it, everything else moves accordingly, because the front view is the parent view. Drag the dimensions and try to place them as shown. By clicking and dragging the tip of an arrow, you can change its orientation or the point of application. Make sure you leave a gap between the dimension lines and the actual part. If you accidentally delete a dimension, you can add it back in using Smart Dimension from the Annotation tab. Right-click on the top view, go to Tangent Edge and select Tangent Edges Removed to hide the two lines where the fillets start. Then select Hidden Lines Visible from the left to show where the holes are. In order to mark them, go to the Centerline option in the Annotation tab. Check Select View and click OK. Because the right view doesn't add any valuable information, right-click on it and select Hide. To finish up, right-click in the Graphics area and select Edit Sheet Format to edit the title block. Notice that the name of the part appears for the drawing number. Double-click on it and select the font size to 18. Double-click on the Rev and type capital A to show that you are the first person to review this drawing. The text boxes in the title block are linked to properties, so instead of typing everything else, go to File, Properties, Custom tab. Under Property Name, select Drawn By and type in your initials, Drawn Date and type Today's Date, and Company Name and type SOLIDWORKS EDUCATION. Click OK. Notice how all this information has been brought in in the appropriate boxes. We will now set up the part's material as a property. Right-click and edit Sheet to go back to the drawing views. Right-click on a view and select Open Part. Notice that it has plain carbon steel assigned. Go to File, Properties, Custom. Select Material, both for property name and for value text expression. Then click OK and save the part. Go back to the drawing and notice that the material appeared in the title block. In the Edit Sheet Format mode, click on Insert, Picture and select the provided SOLIDWORKS logo. Scale it to fit in the shown area and go back to Edit Sheet mode. Your drawing is now complete.